Okay, we can start. Alright, you can start, please. Okay, so good afternoon, Mr. Tan Kim Lim. Uh, my name is Yash. This is Cole. My name is Chico. I'm Jocelyn. Uh, Mayumi, Vincent, and Renzi. We are here to present for the Plastic Co., which is the topic is leadership and social network. First of all, what is Plastic Co.? Plastic Co. Uh, produces blow molded plastic bottle in UK. Uh, which operates in eight sites across UK, which has about 650 employees, and its turnover rate is about 100 million pounds sterling per year. So, what's the major problem here? Uh, it is a part of a multinational group, so it's a big company, and, and with a lot of employees uh, working there, there seems to be conflict with the managers and even the above them with the employees. So, the main problem. Uh, there's no good relationship between the employees and the supervisor, uh, which means like if an employee has a problem, it's very difficult for them to communicate with the managers because uh, even the managers could realize with 650 employees, that's a lot of stress to deal with, and poor communication can cause them to be unmotivated, uh, lack of skill, and even the environment for them is quite bad. So that's also the problem. Uh, especially the main problem is the working hours which stated that it's 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. 12 working hours and they don't get paid over time yeah. so this is the major issue for them employees are getting tired and leading them to be unmotivated and less job satisfaction for them occurs here so next is the problem from the manager and the other problem of the company is for the manager the first one is because the manager was just thinking that uh, about the problem solving but is not try to improve and don't want to teach the employee and then the second one is because the employee doesn't have any power in decision making but they have uh, but the employee have potential but have potential the other hand the manager doesn't have the potential but he or she have the power in decision making it's based on the content company <coughs> Uh, based on the topic that you choose, we talk about the social networks. Social network has emerged as a major technique in modern sociology, and people have used the idea of social network around this group for over a century to kind of com complex sets of relationships between members of so social system and all skills from interpersonal to international. Uh, there are three types of social networks, which are egocentric networks, social centric networks, and open system network. And then we choose the egocentric networks. In egocentric networks is single node individual who <coughs> of one person becoming the broker and the connecting to the other people. We choose this network because we are focusing to the in the powerful people, so it will help to employees connect to other employees. And the next one, you yeah, continue. Okay, and we decided to came with the theory, and we found theory, uh, this one came up from American Psychological Association in 2015. They came up with a theory where leadership and networking will really have big connection to each other, because in the first relationship, uh, they believe that to be a leader, you even need strong networking just to be the leader itself. And then second relationship is the impact of social network structure or the outcome of leadership. So once you become a leader because of your strong networking, you still need to have a good networking just to be a good leader and to work well with all of your workers. And the third relationship, they believe that if you are a good leader with a strong social network structure, it will affect you in your outcome of leadership so the better you are at being a leader with your behavior with your way of working and the way you have good strong network with your manager workers departmental leaders you have a very good outcome of leadership and you'll be a strong leader I'm sorry for the picture and this uh, what we came up with like my friend how you explained that once you become a broker you 
have a strong relationship with both sides. So in this case, I think it's going to be very important for the leaders in Plastico to connect with the strong people like department leaders instead of going to each one person, each workers and just connect with the strong people to connect with the other small workers. We just need to focus on the broker itself. Well, thank you, Justin. I'm the last representative of this team, which is I'm going to explain about solution and conclusion. First, solution. What what uh, what after my friends and my group uh, my member team uh, explain the problem. The solution. The, the first solution is the employee are uh, looking for the senior workers to get closer to the manager, which have uh, make a uh, uh, to make a discussion about the problem in this company have so the company will uh, i mean like the the senior workers will talk to the manager about uh, what happened the problem is and uh, make to build some uh you know the some to build some i mean like some uh innovation about the to get uh uh, look for the best employee of the month like that. So make uh, to build some uh, to to get. I mean, like to make some dis uh, discussion about what happened to the company is, and so they make uh, some uh, groups. The I mean, like make the best of the comp uh, best looking for the best employee. So the second one is the employee are divided to part of group to make a to make a to make like a group chat or something like group pages to look for the which one is the best one to become a broker to get closer with the manager and the, to get closer with the other workers the rule maybe uh, the rule can get be get it to the one who be the best so. Uh, also, they have the opportunity to get a promotion to which has a higher position than other workers. So the last solution is to change the manager leadership style. The leadership style may the previous leadership style may uh, I mean like give bad impact to the company, especially to the workers because of the workers doesn't have any motivated to working. And uh, and also because of the place doesn't in comfortable enough to working. That's why maybe uh, the manager have to like uh, rethinking or I mean like redecision to make something to be improve make the workers get improved about their potential for working. Um, we also believe that. Uh, the entry of the month will work because uh, people will, the employees would work hard and when they work hard they get the they'll get a promotion for being the employee of the month. So this could be a job motivation for them. Oh, so the last conclusion is uh, the overall the problem is in manager. Manager like have less care about their workers they just want to make like everything has to be finished but the manager doesn't give any advice or something motivating to the workers that's why the problem is so the solution what we what i just said is change the leadership style to get i mean like to be more careful about their workers to get work everything goes well and the, work better, better to make the employees feel like they're a part of the job and they're in the job family so not like fe feeling like they're the outsiders or don't care about them okay. i think that's all for us yeah, thank you thank you is there any question yes um before we, before we go ask, um, i want to to go to the slides and recommendation recommendations that should go back Okay. So you are saying that employees to divide into parts in groups. 
to build social network. So, what kind of groups? It's just like uh, in how can I group them? Sorry, how can I group them? To group them, now I mean divide into groups, right? Yeah. So, how can I group them? What kind of groups must I have? I mean, like uh, Plastico have like six hundred fifty workers, mm -hmm. which which is a lot. So maybe the 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 one who have like longer time longer period for working in there senior employee like senior employee they they become a leader something we divide like six to ten groups based yeah. on how long they work yeah so what's the what's the rationale what's the what's the reason or why we use how long they work because they they know better about the company their position in the company is high, uh, whereas the newcomers, they are just, they just started working and they already feel unmotivated. So the old uh, senior employees are uh, in a higher promotion, maybe the senior, and they can teach them how to... But you are saying that you put all the seniors in one group, right? It means all the more than 10 years the in leaders. one group. No, no, I mean like the one who have a senior become the one who are responsible of the group. Yeah, group. So how do I develop the group? That's my question. How should I? Um, what kind of group? Do I group them by nationality? Like no. all the Thai people one group, the Vietnamese one group, or should I just group pick up this random list? Then? Random, random list. Yeah. Not like a different race because yeah. for race doesn't matter. Okay, so randomly I'll just put it into this. Yeah. So why randomly? Why not go by the department they work in? Because you see the company now have different working hours, right? Mm. Some on 12 hours. That means some working today, some may not work tomorrow. Oh, I mean like, yeah. It no, means, I mean, for example, uh, the company now have how many days? Four days of 12 hours, yeah. right? Yeah. And they rest. So if let's say today I'm working, uh, Renzi, you are in the same group, you're not working today because it's not your shift. Then tomorrow you work, I'm not working. So if we do randomly, will it help to build the network? Will it help to build the social network? Oh yes, sir. I mean like the the picking of the member of group is based on the time schedule of day working. Same shift. So based on, so the group will be have the same shift with them. Okay. So not like separate. So it must be based on the time shift. Yeah, based on the time. What about training? Do you think we need to train my managers on how to network with people? Uh, yeah, we... But it's not written there. Do I have to train? I mean, some of them don't know how to talk, you know, they just know how to give orders. So that's why they turn out happy. So do you think should I train my managers to how to network? Their personal skills, their human relations skills, do you think I should train them in that? Is it an issue? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Do you want to share a bit on that? Any one of you? Uh, sure, to be able to manager have the training uh -huh. to get uh, more good in human resource management mm -hmm. so they can develop their own work. They can, and they can, because of the skill they have, then they can go and uh, build the network to create internal. Okay, no question. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank this one is the sound recording. Thank you.